Happy Saturday. What well, a beautiful day. Whee! It is gorgeous. It's a little hazy, but it's nice. It's only 77 degrees outside. Feels good. Um, we got up early this morning. My kids and I got up and we went to this flea market and it was a bus. I mean, there was hardly anybody there. Um, the pictures online made it look like it was really great, but mm -mm. it was it was pretty lame. So my younger son bought this little laser pointer little thingy and like he'll spend five dollars on that. But he had his allowance with him for his yard mowing money and he spent five dollars on that. Like, man, okay, whatever, but he said, Can I get it please? I said, It's your money. If I were you, I would not get it. I think I would just not buy that, but whatever. So he bought it and uh, was happy with it, I guess. And so then we had to go to Walmart. I had to get a, a bathing suit for my younger son for going to the water park because uh, his bathing, his old bathing suit is just too small. He hit a hell of a growth spurt about a month ago. He really did. He just, he shot up like three inches basically overnight. Just whoop. He is a smidge taller than me now. Um, and yeah, he's, I mean, he's still skinny as a rail. He's very willowy. He's just very, very slender. He looks like I never feed him, but I do. He's just very slender. I don't know. He's built like a willow tree. <laughs> um, and he's getting taller. Yeah, he's a little bit taller than me now. And uh, so I went to Walmart and found a bathing suit for him. I got one for like 10 bucks. And he said it was okay. I'm glad he was with me when I picked it out because there were several different ones and I let him pick the one he wanted. So they were all $10 each and he picked one out. So that's good. Um, I bought some sunscreen because I, I have some, but it's, I try to replace it every year. You know, I, I just get a new, a new thing of it. So I got a new thing of sunscreen and I think we're ready to go. I think we're ready to do it. Um, it's going to be fun. I tried to get my older son to go, but he's he's 18 and doing his own thing. He doesn't want to go hang out with his mom and his little brother all day. He said, I appreciate the offer, but I think I'll pass. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Um, he's actually going fishing that day with some friends of his. I said, I want to go fishing. He said, Mom. I said, I'm not invited, am I? He said, no. <laughs> okay. Okay. I know. It's all right. Um, I really do want to go fishing though, but I'll work that out sometime. Um, what else has happened? I went, I, after we got back from Walmart, I went and dropped off a check. I had to, I sent a, I've sent an extra payment in on my house. Um, I had a little bit of extra money, so I thought, let me just make an extra, I made an extra house payment today. <laughs> that was great being able to do that. Um, cause now that my ad revenue's back, it's, I can breathe a little easier now. And I hope it stays that way. I hope it's, it stay, you know, God, I hope. Um, and then I went to the little thrift store. I, I didn't buy much. I bought a few little things. Um, I bought, it's mostly stuff to sell on eBay. I didn't really find anything I wanted. Did I get anything? Um, I bought a bathing suit. There's a cute little bikini in there. I don't know if it'll fit me or not, but it was kind of cute. It was only... Only, it was only two dollars. No, actually, it was a dollar because it had a blue tag on it or whatever tag is half price. So it was only a dollar. So if it doesn't fit, I'm not worried about it. Um, this is kind of cute though. It's just a, a two piece, nothing special, but it has like the color blocks. It has different uh, colors. I thought it was cute. Um, yeah, and I bought a few things to sell on eBay and a book to read in a video. It's like a elementary school slash middle school level book about health. It's like a health book for a maybe a, an 11 or 12 year old. And sometimes I like to read stuff like that. Just, you know, simple basic stuff like that. And we haven't done anything like that in a while. And now, I'm wow, this place is crowded. I'm going to um, this community thrift, uh, sorry, Freedom House thrift. Com oh my God, community thrift. That's the one up in Waukegan that I like so much. The beginning of River Road was based in, was uh, the inspiration for that was at Community Thrift in Waukegan. Whew, I haven't thought about Community Thrift in a long time. That was over 20 years ago. Man. But I have.
had the little kerfuffle at Freedom House Thrift back in the fall of 2020, and I haven't been back here since then. It just bugged me so much. <laughs> I've told that story before. It was just so dumb. It was so damn dumb. I just, and I hardly ever come out here. I don't, there are plenty of thrift stores. I just didn't bother with this one for a long time. But Glenda the Good Witch said, no, you really need to go. You really should. You should go because they have cool stuff. I said, I, they suck though. He said, I know you have the whole thing with the, the COVID rules. Um, in case you hadn't heard the story, I'll give you a quick summary of it. I came here when they reopened in the fall of 2020 to, to drop off some stuff and do a little shopping. And I brought it in the front door and they told me I couldn't drop it off. There's a big bin on the inside and they said, you can't drop that off here after 4 p.m. because of COVID. Like, huh? They, they said, no, you have to take it outside and drive it around to the back of the store. I said, can I walk it back there? No, you can't. You can't walk through the store with those donations after 4 p.m. because of our COVID policy. I said, but I can shop in here. Yes, you can. I can buy donated goods. Yes, you can. But I can't walk this box of stuff back to the back where you want it to go because of COVID. That's right. You have to drive it around back. I said, I don't have to do anything. And I took my donations, put them back in the car, and took them elsewhere. And I haven't been back since. It just pissed me off. I'm sorry. Like, that's just stupid. What does 4 o'clock have to do with COVID? And I did ask her that. I asked her in a more respectful tone than this, but I was irritated. Like, what does 4 o'clock have to do with COVID? Does it get sneaky? Does it become sentient at 4 o'clock? Like, can it find me after 4? Is it more powerful at 4? Why 4? Why not three or 2.30? Why at four can I not just drop them off here, but you expect me to drive, because it's a long ass strip mall. You want me to drive all the way around, find the back, and mm-mm, it's not happening. And I just haven't been back, but Glenda the Good Witch said, you gotta go. Get over it, Mary. Just, <laughs> I have a long history of people who really know me saying, get over it, Mary. Because I hold a damn grudge for a long time. Get over it, Mary. He said, just go in there and look. I mean, you don't have to buy anything. Just go just go in there. They have nice stuff. I said, all right, but I'm only doing it because you told me to. <laughs> said, just go. All right. So, um, I'm going to go in there and see what I can find. Um, I found a really cute uh, Wake Forest polo shirt. It's for like a, it's like a 3T. It's a little, it's adorable. It's just a little polo shirt with a Wake Forest thing on it. It's so cute. I got it for 50 cents and I bought some really nice uh, kids bathing suits, like expensive bathing suits for 50 cents each that I'm going to sell on eBay. And uh, yeah, other than that, I didn't get a whole lot. I, didn't, I don't think I got anything for myself other than that, bath that, that one bathing suit that I haven't tried on. I may try it on and hate it, but it was only a dollar, so I'm not worried about it. And then, what am I doing later? I did it. I finished editing. Edit, oh, she got a black band. I fin I love those things. I have several. I finished editing my video for Sunday night, so it's ready to go. But, I was kind of thinking on, on the way over here. I thought, you know what you should do? Make a video walking around in there. They probably fuss at me for that. I don't know. You know what? I was just looking. They have up on the window, it says, please visit us at our other locations. They have two other locations, and they're both on Battleground Avenue. That's weird. I knew of one on Battleground. I didn't know they had two. And they got two. And they're not far apart either. That's kind of weird. And I know about the one. I didn't know there was another one. Well, anyway. I'm going to go in there and do a little browsing. I may make a video. I may not. I don't. I don't know. Now that I'm here, I kind of don't want to. <laughs> well, I'll take my phone, and um, if I feel like doing it, I will. If I don't, then I just won't worry about it. I will take my earphone, my earbud thingies, and my phone. I know where my phone is. It's right there. They had a really nice Christmas tree at the little thrift store. And it was only twenty dollars, but it was it was really big, and I wouldn't have anywhere to put it. It was beautiful. I mean, it was a beautiful tree. I mean, somebody paid a fortune for that tree. It is gorgeous, but it's huge, and it wasn't in a box, and I don't have anywhere to put it. It was really, really pretty, though. It was a beautiful tree for twenty, and it was twenty dollars. It was gorgeous. 
But I looked at it and I'm, I, in just two seconds, I'm going, Mary, you have nowhere to put it. It's not even in a box or anything. Where do you, where do you put it? It's huge. It's massive. Just leave it. So I don't really have anything else to do until later. I am going to be mowing the yard, like the backyard later. And uh, just doing a little bit of general stuff back there. Until then, I don't really have a lot to do. So I'm just going to, I'm going to try to just focus on taking it easy today and just not worrying about doing a whole lot. Because I've just been go, go, go for a while and I would like to just have a little time today to just not do that. So that's my plan for today is to just not, not do a hell of a lot. Yeah, that's what I'm going to try to do today. Just as little as possible. I have a couple of movies, a couple of DVDs that I kind of want to watch. I might watch a movie or something. I don't know. There's a beetle on my windshield. <laughs> it's a little candle bug, a little brown candle bugs. Yeah. All right. Well, happy Saturday to you. I hope your day is going great. Um, mine's pretty good. Mine's pretty good. We. Uh, I hate the flea market. Was was not. We part. Of, most of it is indoors, and most of the booths were closed. There was, you know, there was stuff in them, but they were covered up with tarps, and they weren't open. And the booths that were open didn't really have anything I was interested in. They had like essential oils and gold chains and incense and just crap that I want. So I didn't buy anything. And the outdoor stuff wasn't anything I was interested in either. So I just didn't buy anything. But anyway, maybe I'll find something in there. You never know. But thank you so much for watching and for being here. Um, I hope your weekend is going well, and I'll see you again soon.